Guys, it's Easter Sunday and it's snowing. Ugh, it's awful, isn't it, B? It's awful! So I've got this table all set with my happy Easter sign and some fake hydrangeas. I just put some candy out. And then my table is all finished. I know I showed you guys yesterday, but I just put some butter in there and all the candies all the way around. And I've just got earrings on and this blouse again because it's actually um, freezing outside. So I didn't want to wear a dress because it's like, it was snowing, it was a blizzard. And it's really, really cold. So, didn't feel like wearing a dress. We have the beans ready to go and the almonds are in the fridge. I've got the pretzel rolls all ready for the oven. Got my cheesecake, the schnitzel's already done up. I don't know, these don't need to be in the fridge, but the almonds to go with the beans. And then we have the ham that's cooking away. And the floors have been washed and vacuumed. Everything's clean and nice. Baby's napping. And my husband's being <laughs> lazy on the couch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He actually did a lot of work for me. So we have, what, two hours before the family gets here. We're already done. So this is baby's outfit. You can't really see it because of her sweater. But Colin decided <laughs> to curl his mustache. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not touching, I just want to show because they can't really see. It's like curled and he thinks, tell them what you think. I look sexy. <laughs> and I, oh, you dropped your binky. And I, for one, hate it. But he's doing it for a laugh, but I don't like it. So leave in the comments below if you like it or not, and be honest. Brutally honest. <laughs> I think you're gonna regret doing this. Ham, beans, schnitzel, mustache, buns, <laughs> mustache, <laughs> baby and mother babies. Looks so good. So baby's in bed, it's 6.39. And yeah, Colin just went to the store to get a couple of things before they close. It's just around the corner. And we're gonna watch American Idol and chill. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, no, Monday, after Easter, April 2nd. I had to think about that for a second. It's 9.32 in the morning, and I have crazy hair. Um, part two of my interview at the place I was telling you guys about that I'm really excited about and I hope that I get the job because that would just be awesome. So it's just for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, the owner just wanted to meet me um, and go over the job and stuff like that. So I will show you um, my outfit in a little bit but I wanted to share first with you guys this awesome jewelry subscription service. I'm obsessed already. I will sh I'll just explain. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and then I'll talk about it from there. Okay, so when you first get it, this is what it looks like. It just says jewelry box and a beautiful like rose gold. And it comes with a ribbon and it's all packaged nicely. And I should, I'm just gonna sit you down for a second. So what you do is you fill out like a style profile and the jewelry stylist picks styles based on your fashion sense and kind of like what you like and what you picked. Um, you can pick silver or gold. You can pick more bold patterns. You can tell them if you only want earrings or if you want a mixture of things. So it just comes a little card like this. It says jewelry box and I'll just explain kind of what they do. So what happens is the style team has hand selected pieces tailored to your style based on your style profile. Not only do we curate each box to create a unique unboxing and individual experience, but we hand select each piece to ensure you will love everything inside. So the thing I love about it is 5% of all proceeds go to Dress for Success, which is an organization designed to change women's lives. So I think that's amazing that 5% of the proceeds goes to a charity. So not only are you getting beautiful jewelry pieces, but you know that you're 
some of your money is going to a charity. So it just says, hey, Lindsay, or it'll have like whatever your name is. Um, welcome to Jewelry Box. And it just says basically based on your profile, this is what we picked for you. And each piece of jewelry comes in a really beautiful, this is like a velour or velvet kind of little sash. So you can keep your jewelry in here and it won't get tangled and it'll just keep it really nice. So I'll show you guys the pieces that I got. So the first one, the first piece are these earrings and you would have seen this in my last video. They are so beautiful. They just have like a little bit of like some sparkle and they're gold and they have this beautiful like mustard color tassel. I love these. I don't own anything like this in my collection and I just think that they are so beautiful. This next piece is a beautiful long necklace and it has a little horseshoe on the bottom and a little sign that says no parking, which I thought was really cute. I will lay it down so you can see it better, but it's just a long, beautiful gold chain and I thought this was so dainty and pretty. Again, you would have seen this in my last video. And lastly, we have this beautiful, very dainty little gold bracelet that has hot pink little beads in there. I thought this was so pretty and just very simple and dainty and it'll kind of go with any outfit and just add a little bit of pop of color. These are the pieces that I got just kind of up close. You can see if it'll focus. That has a little horseshoe and the little no parking sign and they are just absolutely beautiful. So I do have a coupon code down below that you can use to get some money off of your purchase and I will leave the link to the jewelry box site so you guys can fill out your own style profile and you can get sent three pieces of jewelry every single month which is awesome. All of the details will be listed down below, but feel free to use my coupon code so you guys get money off. And it's kind of cool because you can get new jewelry every single month. It's super, super affordable. And like I said, 5% of the proceeds go to Dress for Success, which is a charity that benefits women. So it's a win-win. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And now I will get into what I'm wearing for my interview. So the first thing I'm wearing is this scarf. It's a mint color and it just has little tassels on it and I got it from Forever 21 a few months ago. Jewelry I just have on my Michael Kors watch and this beautiful little bracelet from Jewelry Box. This top underneath is just a professional like lace, um, just a short sleeve because I get really hot because of breastfeeding hormones. I got this from the Bay, you guys would have seen it lot it's just really pretty it's got the scalloped lace and everything and then these are just some dress pants that I got from winners I think and I like them because they've got like a band so they're super stretchy and comfortable the only issue I have is that I have long legs so no pants ever go all the way down for me but that is my outfit and I am they're actually a lot more um casual there than I realized last time so I'm just gonna wear some flat high knee boots not high knee but like below the knee but or up to the knee boots and I know when we get there we have to take our boots off so it doesn't really matter but I'm just like oh god they're gonna laugh at like you can see my ankles because my darn legs are so long <laughs> I know it's not a bad problem to have but still it's just really the hair in my face really annoying for trying to find pants so that is my outfit and then I will have, this is a bag that I absolutely love and I got it from Winners. I get like everything from Winners and Marshalls, y'all. So that's my professional little interview outfit. And I'm wearing my hair up only because it is like fourth day hair. No, third day hair. Third day hair. So I can't do anything with it. My bangs look so bad, but whatever whatever <laughs> dying <laughs> um, I just got home it's actually four o'clock so I haven't seen you guys all day my mom and I just got back from a walk with the baby and we went for like well we went for six six kilometers I think which doesn't sound like a lot but I haven't worked out in like such a long time so I'm like dead anyways I brought my camera I went to turn it all in to um, record and it said no memory card because I forgot I was putting my footage from my USB stick onto the computer so I didn't have my memory card. But anyways, baby is right there. She's in her bouncer. Um, the interview went really well. Um, I think I have the job because 
the I just met with the owner the owner's husband um, he's also the owner and he just said we're gonna email you later and um, we'll set up some hours for you so I think I have it so then I went to Reitman's to get dress pants because I all of my dress pants are like leggings and mama mama they're all leggings or I've had them for so long they've shrunk and they look like flood pants because I'm 5'8 and I have tall, I'm tall and I have long legs. So I need a new dress pants. So I only have like one pair other than maternity ones. Mama, she's a little chatterbox, this lady. Um, so I bought two pairs of really nice black dress pants. One's like more of a blue cut and the other one I'm like yelling I don't know why and the other one is I'm um, like a straight leg but they're long and then I bought these flip not flip flops but I bought these shoes at Marshall's for $30 they're so cute but I got an eight and a half thinking my feet grew from being pregnant and they're way too big they like fell off of me so yeah I have to return those and get a different size hi baby look how blue your eyes are so yeah it's gonna be Sorry, a bit of a shorter vlog today. Um, I got so many questions from you guys. I really should film my, you know what? I might film my Q&A now, but I have to play with her. I don't know when I'm gonna film it, but I have to do it soon. I got so many questions, it's not even funny. So thank you guys for that. But yeah, I'm just gonna relax now and then we'll have dinner and I'll put the baby to bed and yeah, but yay to possibly having a job. Hey guys, so I just put the baby I don't know what time it is. I just put the baby down to bed. Yeah, it's 6.30. So um, usually what I do is about quarter to six, I start her bedtime. So I'll take her upstairs, get her undressed, and play with her a little bit on her change table, make her laugh. And then I'll undress her, get her in the tub, and then she plays in her bathtub for a little bit. And then I read her about two to three books, nurse her and put her down. And I find that that almost like a whole hour of just like calm and like playing and relaxing has helped so much with her fussing in the evening. Um, she usually wakes up from her last nap at three. So I try and keep her bedtime only around three hours after, no longer than that. Cause I've tried four and more than four and it's disastrous. So if you're finding it difficult to put your baby down, try only leaving a max of like three hours after their last nap and see if that helps. Um, a lot of people even recommend two, but I thought anything earlier than like six, six thirty is a little too early in my opinion, but um, she's just a lot happier and when I read to her she just it just like calms her down and then she nurses and goes right to bed So I have a lot to clean up. I've got all this here I have some laundry for her to put to put away I have to do a baby girl clothing haul because my mother-in-law just bought her a ton of stuff for um, like next fall and winter I have uh, dishes I have to put away and just you know this is what my house looks like after um, baby goes to bed. Um, I've got <laughs> laundry and just everything to put away. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys in my video tomorrow. Bye.